Good morning. It's half past ten and I'm already up and about. Made myself some scrambly egg on toast for my breakfast. And got myself a nice cup of coffee. We have already had the Jehovah's Witnesses around this morning. They didn't even sort of try their usual spiel with me. They just offered me a leaflet straight away and I very politely declined. I guess it shows what kind of family I come from that I was then berated by my parents for not being incredibly rude to them. Today I'm going to go for a walk and then Arsenal are playing Brighton so I'm going to watch that and then we'll see what happens after that. Now it's 10 to 1. Still kind of not really dressed or anything at the moment. Taking my breakfast things back downstairs, put them in the dishwasher. My mum and dad and sister have gone to my cousin's birthday party. I decided not to go. He's only one, he's not gonna notice I'm not there, is he? The Arsenal game kicks off at three. So I've still got a couple of hours to fill. I don't think I can be bothered to go for a walk now. I know I said I was gonna go for one, but you know. I reserve the rights to change my mind. I have to wash up my breakfast things. Then I guess I'll have a shower, make myself look nice and handsome for you all. Then football will happen and then other things will happen afterwards. Don't mind me, just doing a little bit of ironing, getting my clothes all nice and crease free. I really enjoy ironing. It's a very relaxing way to spend half an hour or so just Ironing all your screwed up clothes, making them all nice and neat and tidy. Yes, 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 you can take my man card off of me whenever you like. Half time in the Arsenal game and it's one all. Arsenal took the lead with a rather fantastic shot from the handsome French bloke himself, Olivier Giroud. Only for Brighton to equalise a little while later from a corner which, to be frank, Arsenal defended appallingly. I'm a humongous Arsenal apologist. I'll always give any Arsenal player the benefit of the doubt long after everyone else has completely given up on them. But Andre Santos is just such a frustrating little tit. The game is finished and Arsenal won just about 3-2 the final score. Far too stressful for my liking. I have no idea why we can't just absolutely batter all of these stupid teams that we come up against. And now I'm watching Community. Community. I love Community. Six episodes of Community and one lovely cooked dinner made for me by my mum later. And it is half past eight in the evening. I have a load of Rookie Blue to watch now. If you haven't seen Rookie Blue. I recommend you check it out. I'm still watching Ricky Blue. I have this kind of tradition thing that I do whenever I'm watching Ricky Blue, which is that uh, whenever I watch it, I do sit-ups. Lots and lots of sit-ups. But you're not allowed to see that, I'm afraid. So I'm going to put you away for a while. We can hang out again once I've finished. I, I don't want you to see me doing sit-ups. I take my shirt off and stuff. And I, I don't want you to see that. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> I have completed my sit-ups whilst watching an episode of Rookie Blue and now I'm going to watch the rest of my episodes of Rookie Blue without doing sit-ups because my stomach muscles are in something which you may call agony. And I'm being very careful how I stand at the moment because I haven't put my shirt back on and I don't want you to see my torso. And now I'm starting to get really dizzy from spinning rounds. <laughs> Why do people spin while they vlog? Corey Vidal does it all the time in the Apprentice A vlog. It just makes me feel sick. And so we come to the end of another day. It's still relatively early for me, but the rest of the day is literally just gonna be spent laying in bed, drinking a cup of tea and watching Rookie Blue. So I figured I may as well end it here for today.